there's your treat for being a good boy. Yeah? And let's tie you up. Nice and tight, because you're a little bit of a wriggle monster, aren't you? You like to move around. Oh no, I'm getting your dirty mouth all over me. You've already got me a bit dirty, Joey. But thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is me and welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, me and Joey are very matchy today with the paprika. Um, so yeah, first thing this morning, we actually have a lesson, so I'm super excited about that. So I quickly need to get this boy groomed and tacked up and ready for that. And also later this evening, I'm actually gonna be moving the donkeys into their brand new paddock, which is very exciting. Back into the one with their um, lovely big stable as if the weather's getting a a little bit worse now over here in the UK it's getting a little bit more rainy just have a bit more shelter so anyway I need to go and get my grooming brushes also Joey's mane is currently plaited because I've probably complained about his mane so much on my channel already but it likes to go in all different directions so I'm finally for the I don't know how many times I've tried to do this um tried to make his mane go to the right um Anyway, so I need to undo these because they're a little bit messy now. He's slept in them. His mane's sort of falling out. Not actually falling out, but like uh, the mane's coming out of the plaits. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish off getting Joey tacked up and I'll see you guys at my lesson. Good boy. All right guys, I thought I'd do a little voiceover of what Joey and I got up to during our lesson. So as always, we started doing some flat work and in today's lesson, we actually did something a little bit new. We did some shoulder in, which I don't think I've done before with Joey and I don't think Joey's done it before. Um, so this is a lateral movement that we were doing to try and encourage Joey to start using his hindquarters. So basically using his muscles to get him stronger. Then at the end, we just let him have a little stretch out and then just large around on the arena we did a lot of trot work just to loosen him up a bit and he actually produced some really nice trot work so me and my instructor were both really happy with that and it shows just how doing a little bit of lateral work can really improve them and just loosen them up a little bit so then after that we just changed the rain again did some trot on the other rain I like to change the rain doing little S's like this to try and keep him bending moving thinking and then we did some trotting poles which is one of Joey's favorites he just loves trotting poles for some reason I think it's because after doing all the sort of boring flat work he's like oh yay poles and he just gets quite excited um, so what we were working on with the trotting poles today was actually after the trotting poles to try and make him not rush off oh, afterwards well, which is sometimes well, something he likes to do when we're jumping he likes to sort of canter away as fast as he can so it was just sort of making sure he was balanced straight in a rhythm and moving nicely so after we did the trotting poles on both reins we then actually actually did a raised pole which we would trot into and canter out so the first time we did it I don't think he really realized it was there and we kind of went through the pole instead which wasn't what we were aiming for Joey but then the next time he actually hopped it really nicely and then after that we did it on the other rein and we also added another raised pole which ended up sort of being like a bounce jump and Joey just had so much fun
All right, everybody, I'm now back from my lesson with Joey and he was such a good boy. He worked really, really hard. And it was actually really nice to see after we did a bit of shoulder in how much he kind of loosened up and he produced a really nice trot. And then obviously we did some pole work at the end where he got a little bit tired because he'd worked so hard, but he was such a good boy. And I'm actually super surprised that his mane didn't actually flop over to the other side. So I'm gonna quickly plait it up again. Um, apologies in advance for the plaiting because it's definitely not gonna be neat. It's just gonna be a quick little thing just to try and keep his mane over also i've misplaced my black plaiting bands so at the moment we have white ones that um, i'm actually going to be reusing the ones that i used before because obviously you know single use plastic i'm going to try and get my money's worth as well so um we're getting there with the mane it's a little it's a little bit raggedy and shaggy in places and i think it's because he's got all these little baby hairs coming up and they're just kind of sticking up rather than lying flat okay but he's very happy he's got a hay net i'm also quickly roll up my sleeves got some water and i just like to sort of dampen it down and that just helps get all the little baby hairs down hey i don't need to get you too wet because it's a little bit chilly today isn't it joey good boy there we go. As you can see, it's just so like thick and frizzy, even though I've um, thinned out quite a bit, it's still just a little bit poofy. There we go. Oh no, don't, don't shake. <laughs> don't shake and get it on me. Good boy. I don't really, I usually do them quite wide apart because I'm lazy and we're not going to a show, so it doesn't need to look pretty. I tried doing the thing where you basically do just an, a mini ponytail and then flip it over, but I found that they kept flipping over in the wrong direction. Sorry, just get my band. So I find doing the mini plaits work best for Joey's mane, but that might be just because it's so wild. There we go. One down, many more to go. Okay guys, I've now just finished plaiting. Oh sorry, I'm gonna give Joey his mint now because he could smell it and I didn't want to be, didn't want to tease you, hey? Um, so yeah, I finished the plaiting. They're definitely not my best because I was like, okay, I just wanna get it done, do it quickly. Obviously I didn't plait all the way down as well because I just didn't need to do that. Just a little bit at the top to make sure it goes over. I probably did more than I should have, um, but you can see he's still got those little baby hairs sticking out here. So hopefully they'll grow a bit longer and then they can flop over to the right side. Um, but now he's looking a lot smarter. I've also put a bit of hoof ointment on as well because he always Always has quite dry hooves, don't you, mate? Hey. So um, now it's time to put him out on the field with Mickey and Casper. Hey. Good boy. Treaty. There's your treaty. Good boy. All right, guys, I now have a very dirty Casper. So I think the plan is to give him a bit of a groom, get him tacked up. And I think we're gonna do some jumping today because I haven't actually jumped him for a while. And it's definitely one of his favorite things. But first, I don't know how I'm gonna get him clean. He is just absolutely filthy. So you see oh my gosh.
Okay guys, I've now finished cleaning Casper. He looks a lot better now. Did have to give him a bit of a sponge off because there were some stains that just weren't want wanting to come off, were they? So I've now got him all tacked up. All I need to do is just pop on his bridle and then we'll give him a bit of a jump, hey? Good boy. Got your treat oh what a good boy okay let's get you untucked so casper was a really good boy in our jumping session we haven't jumped him for a while so um he was actually a little bit lazy today usually jumping he gets quite excited but i think he's getting a little bit woolly now as you can see he's quite sweaty so we might have to clip this man soon hey um but anyway no he was really good and we jumped a lovely little course yeah and we even did um the one stride jump which he usually gets two strides in so it was nice to see he was actually really stretching because he's so short strided he really does struggle but we got the one stride so that was great really happy with him and just gonna pop my saddle away now all right guys it's now time to go and move the donkeys into their new paddock so i have all of their head collars i've got willow's pink one toby's orange one and then bruno's red one i don't actually have willow's lead rope because she's a little bit slower she usually just follows the other boys up so i'll lead the other boys because there's not really anywhere that they can really go or escape to get to their new paddock they're just going through different fields um but anyway i'm quite excited because um i don't know why i just prefer their sort of more winter paddock because that's where we're moving them because it's got their lovely stables so because now in the uk it's coming up to autumn winter time we're having a lot more rain so it means that they have um, a nice big area that they can go under where it's sheltered from all of the elements so yeah um we actually wormed the donkeys a few days ago and i talked to my um vet and he said um after worming them leave it a few days so it's been a few days and then we can move them into their nice new field because this is something that not many equestrians really talk about but when you own horses or donkeys in this case um, we have to pick up little bits of their poo that's nice and fresh put it in a pot and send it off to our vets to do a worm egg count so um, yep yeah, our vets had a little look under the microscope see how many eggs there are um, so we've got them all wormed that's all good they weren't there actually weren't many eggs so that is brilliant so um, our horses don't have worms <laughs> anyway so now it's time to go and grab the donkeys and get them moving you lot hi bruno hi toby are you ready to go on a little adventure let me grab yours first bruni hey there's me really disorganized haven't got my head collars ready but luckily these guys are very very good and will just stand there because i think they know that they're going to their new paddock there we go pop on toby's head collar bruno's just chilling behind me Okay. You're very good just standing there. Oh, Willow, come on, girly. Okay, I've got the boys. Now I just need to get my girl. Come on, girly. Hello. Are you ready to put your head collar on? There we go. We're going somewhere exciting. We're going to your old paddock. Uh, Bruno, don't headbutt my butt. Bru boys, behave yourselves, thank you. Let's not, let's not get all silly. 
Willow has got her head collar on. It's a little bit loose, but as long as I've got something that I can grab her with if she does wander off, which I don't think she will. Okay. I think it's with the donkeys because they've got smaller legs. Um, they're a little bit slower when it comes to leading them. Bruno's always in the front. Toby always likes to go behind Bruno, so I sometimes get a little bit stretched like this. And then we've got a little old Willow at the back. Okay, come on in. Let's go. I will see you in about five hours when we get to their new paddock. <laughs> Through we go. Willow, come on, girlie. No, don't eat the grass. Come and follow us. Come on, Bruno. Ah, come on, don't have the grass. You'll have plenty of grass when we get up to the field. Willow. Willow. Come on. Oh, is she coming? Is she coming? There we go. She's coming, guys. We're almost there. No, don't eat that grass. Eat the grass in your field when we get there. We're almost there. Almost there. Here we go. Can you see where we are? Do you remember here? There we go. Come on then. All right, so we have finally made it to the donkey's new paddock. I'm going to take Toby off first because I know that Toby will go wherever Bruno goes. And I know as soon as I take Bruno off, he'll probably go for a little bit of a wander. Yes. Okay, so just undo his head collar even though they're a little bit big for you because it's really difficult to find donkey sized ones, isn't it? Okay, got these two. Oh my gosh, Willow, I'm <laughs> going to grab her now. Is she, is she eating grass? What's she going up to? There we go. You're almost there. Are you having a bit, of a, a bit of a pit stop? Having some grass? Hey girly. Oh, I probably should have done your head collar up a bit tighter, but that's okay. You're not wearing it for long. Oh no, everyone's going to be annoyed that I haven't got her pink lead rope, but you know what? I'm still a little bit matchy because the matchy orange, but we, we're, we're disappointing on the matchy side, aren't we? Hey, you're almost there. Oh, she's got a bit of a pace on now. She's like, hmm, maybe the grass is greener on the other side. Who knows? Bruno and Toby seem very happy with all the grass. Okay, three you go. Okay, you ready to be released? released into the paddock. There we go. Off you go, girly. Be still, my darling. All is well, my darling. Your anxious heart may as well be stoned. Boy, we see you down deeper than you know. Go to the gym, they say. Do weightlifting, they say. Oh my goodness. Just carrying one bale of shavings. It's so heavy. <laughs> ah, we're almost there. Oh, my arms are really aching now. Okay, let's get this guy opened up.
Okay, so the donkeys now have plenty of grass in their field. They have plenty of shavings. They have a nice, lovely bed, even though they have a lovely jelly mat for them to lie on, so it's nice and soft, and the shavings are only really there for absorbency. They've got a nice shavings bed as well. So the last thing I need to do to make sure that they're happy and set up for the winter is just to go and clean their water. So I'm gonna go and grab a bucket and do that now. I've now got my bucket. We are very matchy-matchy today. So anyway, I just need to roll up my sleeves because I do not want to get my hoodie wet. Um, yeah, especially wet sleeves on a cold day, not good. Um, so yeah, there's a few little feathers and things in here. It's actually not too bad, usually, because obviously they haven't been in here for six months. So um, usually the water troughs get really manky and disgusting, but it's not looking too bad today. But we'll see how much green algae and things are in here today. Look at that. All right, that is the water trough all cleared out. So we've got an automatic one, so this will just fill up with water. So yeah, the donkeys are all happy. They're up there finding some really long grass by the looks of it. So um, we've got the water done, stable done, got plenty of grass for now. Probably won't last very long. Soon I'll be having to give them hay. It will be the winter. Everywhere will just be covered in mud and it will be raining. So I'm enjoying the nice weather that we've had today anyway. So thank you so much guys for watching today's video. If you're new or haven't done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.